Hey, this is Paulie from KISS 1067 in Rachacha, New York, and you are listening to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. All right. Welcome back to the show. It's time for some classy news of the day. But real quick, Ryan, where can people find your work online? Follow me on Twitter at Ryan Stupridge, S-T-U-P-R-I-C-H. How about you, Mr. Risky? Follow me on Twitter at rrisky 16 And you can check out me at the gym, and you can check me out on Twitter <laughs> at Hoppy Radio 893 and you can call the show 630-785-2510. That's 630-785-2510. And what does this say if an artist wants to submit their music? If you know a great unsigned artist, we want to hear their stuff. Obviously, we do. Tell them to submit their music to theedgeonair.com at or the edge on air at gmail.com. That's the edge on air at gmail.com. And we will add it to our playlist. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, MP3s only, no profanity or vulgar content. Submission does not guarantee airplay, but hey, if you don't have swears and it's in an MP3 point and it's in an MP3 format, why not, right? Yeah. All right. Without further ado, it's time. It's time for classy news of the day with Hoppy and Super Rich. You like this music? Really sets the mood. Get it because it's not classy. People news. are gonna get the wrong idea. Yeah. And <laughs> they might be a little confused. All right, this is the news you're going to hear on Fox News or on MSNBC or News Radio 780. This is what you're going to hear in the Hoppy and Super Rich show. Like this headline. Mom found dead mouse in box of crunchy nut cereal. That is correct. All right. So that, that? That, that seems, ew, is that the actual picture? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a serial crime. Hey. A mom in the United Kingdom is super serial about her kid's breakfast. She's raiding out Kellogg, or she's uh, ratting out Kellogg's. God, that, that's a bad what pun. What a horrible pun. After Whoever she found. Whoever wrote that was probably so proud of himself. A, that's after, a horrible pun. After she found a dead mouse in her two year old grandson's box of crunchy nut cornflakes. Ew. Just imagine you're just like eating the like cornflakes and you see a rat in there. Ew. Oh, God. It's horrible. Yeah. All right, let me go back to the air call. Um, Pauline Henderson, she's 50 years old, was pouring a bowl of the freshly opened cereal when she says she found this. And that's a nasty Risky, picture that I don't want to see. You're just eating cereal and you just find... That's when you go crazy. Yeah. That, that's when you just start screaming. I mean, I, I don't know what I would do. I don't eat much cereal. Oh, I'm a cereal addict, dude. Yeah, I don't eat very much cereal, except that that were to happen to me, I'd, I'd probably go flip out. Yeah, I, I'd be very... I definitely wouldn't eat that brand of cereal again, which yeah, was... Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd definitely not buy that again. Crunchy nut cornflakes. I'm not even sure if they have that in America. Well, and it's it comes... Well, and, hey, hey. Instead of coming with a toy that comes with a rat. <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough, right? Oh, oh, man, we ran out of toys. Here, we'll just put this one in here. <laughs> we'll yeah. put a dead rat in Here's there. Here's something that your grandson can play with while he's eating his cereal and hey, 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 watch die, out. dying of some sort of disease after <laughs> eating the cereal. Uh, so naturally, uh, she was disgusted. It was horrible, she told the Portsmouth News. If my grandson Toby had eaten it, I could have been rushing him to the hospital. Goodness knows how long the mouse was in the box or if it was dead or alive when it went in. How did this get in here? Was this like packaging at like the warehouse? A rat's running around and they're like, hey, we'll just put uh, it in here. Obviously, there's some sanitary issues where they make the cereal, where they box the cereal. This? And this is overseas. Thank yeah, God. it's in the United Kingdom. Um, she didn't have to rush anyone to the hospital, but she did throw the box, mouse included, into the freezer while she notified environmental officials. I would just like throw it outside. Well, but she probably wanted to show them. Oh, good point. Uh, That's actually a very smart woman. I would have freaked out. <laughs> Although I, I don't know if I'd want that in my freezer either, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, imagine the, like, germs and, like, the, uh, what's it called? Just like, why would you want that in your freezer? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. You never but, know what some people But these I guess days. if it's in the freezer, it sort of kills the germs. So maybe, Ugh. you know, it, like, it's safe to keep like it in the freezer. But I feel like there's, like, not, like, chemicals, but there's, like, germs that could touch the other food. Like, it's a dead rat. Right. Like, I feel like there's, like, little, like... Yeah, like, even the box itself is probably contaminated. That's what I'm... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, contaminated. Like, I feel like having a dead rat in your freezer makes everything else contaminated. Right. So, uh, a representative of the supermarket Tesco 
where Henderson reportedly bought the cereal. I love me some Tesco. Told the Daily Mail that the find is concerning. Clearly, that's very concerning. Well, yeah, you would hope finding a rat in your cereal is concerning. So it doesn't happen every day. Like, I had cereal last night. I didn't see a rat or, like, a squirrel. (laughs) Well, well, hey, hey, it's okay because I'm pretty sure they're going to say, oh, well, that's the first time it's happened. It probably won't happen again, and then it will. So so here's uh, the statement that they said, the spokesman of Tesco said, We set ourselves the highest standards for the quality and safety of food uh, that we sell, and we're concerned to hear of this. Um, we would like to thank Miss Anderson for alerting us, <coughs> and we will work with a supplier to support their investigation. Henderson also reportedly declined Kellogg's offer of a new box of cereal. That's your offer, not money, not a vacation, not a price. Would you like a new box of cereal? No. 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 That's wow. the worst offer That's Kellogg. That's some sort of compensation for that. Hey, it's I would like tell a, them, you know what? I ain't buying your cereal anymore. That's the worst compensation. Maybe you get a tour of the place, something. But a new box of cereal that's like three bucks? The hell out of your Kellogg's. That's called lazy yeah, I, idea. I'm not interested in that. It shows what, how much they care about their customers. <laughs> All right, they take them for granted. Yeah, exactly. Here's what else is coming up in the news. It says, Sadie Renee Johnson, this woman, began a reservation fire to help out firefighters who were... Board. So what else is coming up? What does it say? <laughs> so this is from Oregon. The uh, United Bend, States, Oregon. The, <laughs> Bend, over. Bend, Oregon. Uh, the U.S. Justice Department said Friday an Oregon woman pleaded guilty in May to starting a wildfire on the Warm Springs Indian Reserve, or the Indian Reservation last year because her firefighter friends were bored and needed work. But you get paid by the hour. I think they enjoy the down days. Right, isn't it uh, 24 hours on, 48 hours off, something like that? It's like how it goes for if you're a firefighter I'm sure they or a cop. get a rush when you do a fire, but do you think they would prefer to play pool in their basement? Or go to a fire that's caused by a dumb girl who's 23 years old. Come on. <laughs> the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office in Portland says 23-year-old Sadie Renee Johnson of Warm Springs tossed a small firework from a car in July 2013 into a roadside brush. Uh, the fire spread to about 80 square miles. That's 51,000 acres. Jesus. And cost nearly $8 million to f- to uh, fight the fire. Investigators said she posted a Facebook question two days later. Like my fire? <laughs> Are you asking to get caught, honey? Why would you post that? What a that? dummy. So, wow. So KTVZ TV uh, reported that it released details of the case Friday while the wildfire season is underway to underscore the danger of such reckless actions. Her, sent- her sentencing is scheduled for my birthday when I turn 21, September well, Maybe 3rd. you'll get a good birthday president. She'll go away for a while. <laughs> Call the show. Have you ever set a fire just to help out your board? Hope not. Firefighter friends, 630-785-2510. Have you ever found maybe not a dead rat in your cereal? Well, we hope, hope you haven't found a dead rat in but your cereal. But have you found, like, some weird, like, thing in your cereal? 630-785-2510. All right. It says right here, man fakes his kidnapping so he doesn't have to party with his girlfriend. And now, before we get to that. That's a healthy relationship. Yeah, you have to wonder how annoying is that girl that you would pretend that you got kidnapped just so that you're not around her. Like, how irritating, how nagging is she that you would say, yeah, I'm kidnapped. Sorry, I'm not going to be home. And here's that, my that's second. That's kind of weird. Like, oh, hey, I'm being kidnapped. Uh, I won't be home for a while. And here's the second part. What did he tell her? Oh, don't call the cops. I'm going to get this fixed in the next few days. See you in a few days, honey. Like, when you say you're kidnapped, your girl's going to call the cops to find out where you're at. Like, does he think she's going to be like, okay, see you in two years if you're not dead? Like, what? I don't think so. All right, so here's the article. Let's go clubbing. All right, what does it say? Man fakes kidnapping so he can party without his girlfriend. Oh, geez. Lots of men tell stupid lies to their girlfriend, but not all of them end up involving the police. A British man, again, God. (laughs) What's going on? It's becoming the new Florida. (laughs) Uh, A British man was fined after he called, texted, um, after he texted his girlfriend saying he'd been kidnapped over a debt equivalent to $82. (laughs) Only $82. He said he told the lie so he could continue to stay out partying. The issue is that his girlfriend took the claim seriously and called the police. Here's why I think he said that it was like equivalent equivalent to 82 bucks. Because 
he wants her to think that it will be fixed in the next few days. Yeah, yeah, probably. But she called the cops anyway. I, I, I would call the cops if I found out. Like, uh, yeah, I would too, especially if he was serious, which he w- sounded serious. I just apparently. don't know in what world is a girl not going to like, <laughs> I'm not saying overreact, but she's just not going to call the cops. Like, what <laughs> world is that going to happen when she's like, okay, see ya, maybe. Who okay, knows? hopefully you don't die. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I remember there was one time in in Ohio, there was a mother who said her and her daughter had been kidnapped and they were in the trunk of a car, and then someone saw them in Disney World (laughs) having fun. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Yeah, this was like, I think this was back when I was in middle school, maybe freshman year in high school. Yeah, I remember that. I was just kind of like, wow. (laughs) There are some crazy kooks out there in the world. Oh, and the best part is they had actually found the car with the same license plate that they had reported, and it was like a limo driver. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? (laughs) Yeah. That's All right, what is the And then someone here? saw them in Disney World. Wow. Uh, police were not pleased when they learned the kidnapping was a hoax, with a spokesman calling it one of the most foolish and irresponsible incidents ever encountered by the department. <laughs> well, you would hope. I mean, if that's not the most <laughs> irresponsible thing to happen to the department, what's more irresponsible? You know what I mean? All right. So considerable resources and time uh, then went into finding this man who, trans- who it transpires made the entire thing up so he could stay out and party. The 32-year-old was found after police checked closed circuit TV footage. God, get your life together. Close you're to 32 home. years old. You're eight years away from being 40. Do you need to be out all night partying? Maybe you should settle down with this girl or get rid of her. You're 32 years old. Why you would a girl that you don't want to be around if you're out partying all night and you're going to lie about it? He's probably one of those guys who thinks he's just a loser and won't find anyone else. Yeah. Uh, the man's friend was arrested on suspicion of kidnapping, but then released after his... Uh, his friend confessed to the ruse. Yeah. Although it seems like a terrible excuse, other people have used kidnapping to ineptly conceal a night of partying from their significant others. So there was a, a Texas man in 2013 who did it. And, yeah, there, there's obviously been other things, too. Like, how much do you hate your life when you have to lie to your girlfriend and say, yeah, I've been kidnapped when you're out doing ecstasy and drinking at 7 a.m.? Think about it. Oh, we're about to drop the base, right? <laughs> Man, it makes me want to go rave. Who wants to go to zero gravity right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With all the 13-year-olds. Let's go. With the drop zone. <laughs> right. Get it, Ryan? Get <laughs> Yeah, yes, I get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just like this beat. It, like, sets the mood. Like, yeah, um, my girl's so annoying. I might just tell her that I've been kidnapped. And they're like, great idea. <laughs> Like, imagine it in the, like, drunken British banner. Right, right. Like, do the voice real quick. I'm going to go out partying now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I've been kid- Don't call the police. I've been- I will be terribly fine. <laughs> I've been kidnapped. <laughs> God, I suck I at I will voices. be back in a couple of days. Do not call the police. Until about 82 bucks. We'll get it figured out. <laughs> My God. Don't worry about me. I just don't want to see you right now. <laughs> You're annoying as hell. <laughs> Oh, my God. Here's the moral. If your girl is that annoying that you have to lie that you're out partying or that you've been kidnapped, just break up with the chick. The Hoppy and Superman Show. This is an official broadcast of Hoppy Radio. For more info, check out hoppyradio.com and hoppysworld.com.